Hello and welcome to P News Channel. I hope you are subscribing to our channels. Your subscription matters a lot to us as we try to scale the hundred thousand peak and then beyond that. Uh, today I am joining Dr. Nagaswamy. Dr. Nagaswamy, welcome to P News Channel. Sir, um, we want to kind of trace this uh, being Tamil, this this uh, hyperbole that some have created. And there are the forces that are behind them who don't come out in the front, but they are aiding these people, and they try to say that there is something called you know Tamil, which is different. Now, what we want to look at in this particular episode is uh, what was happening up until 2014 when Modi came to power, and then what happened, and is that the reason why now Modi bashing has become the Primary occupation of these people. <coughs> I, am, I am not a modern historian, so I won't be able to say uh, what's happening now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I know sufficiently mm -hmm. the Tamil Nadu was one of the unique places in the history of the world where the beginning of uh, from the beginning of the common era to almost the uh, 19th century, it was a place of joy, it was a place of pleasure, it was a place of cultured expression. And uh, there is no part of India or other world where within uh, two or three hundred years of its existence, 20,000 classical songs that have been composed as Tevaram and Thiruvachakam and Divya Prabandha, which were sung all over the country in Tamil. Um, you know, for, for our non Tamil viewers, perhaps you can explain what each one means. What is Devaram? What is Devaram? Uh, um, yeah. You see, around, uh, from around the 6th century to uh, 10th century, we had a um, great Saiva saint who travelled from northern part of Tamil Nadu to southern part, visiting village of Rule and singing the praises of Lord Shiva, the temple of Lord Shiva and other deities, and uh, also uh, temples of Vishnu, sung by Vaishnava Alva. Four major saints in the Saiva system are Samandar, Appar, Sundar, Manikavatya, and twelve Ayuvas who are the Vaishnava devotees. They have given delightful poems and delightful expressions to common uh, man's faith, aspirations, fulfillment, and all this. And so they were always careful to sing greatness of divinity. You raise the human mind from mundane earth to divine life and so very carefully. So what an outpouring of poetry, outpouring of music, outpouring of dance and buildings, architecture and the whole village is considered as a one, one unit distributing so many temples all around. And these songs of these great men, uh, they sang uh, divinity through songs. They sang the literature, language through songs of knowledge. 20,000 verses which were sung, thousand years ago, or thousand two hundred years ago, are still sung. I don't think we have any other part of the country or any part of the world where such a large amount of poetic expression, cultured expression, in the form of music and dance, associated always with temples in Japan. And so they always say even the trees, they listen, the birds, they sing the praises like what the human beings are doing. And um, in the Chola country, in the 10th, uh, to, uh, 
11th and 12th century poem is it is filled with the Vedic songs. And so it was a place of cultured expression, cultured living. And never fighting between man and man. And we have the expressions of the Chola rulers in the 11th, 12th century. They say that they ruled the country in such a way that people loved each other. Vondri nod vondrikkum, varu varu odu varu varukkum, veru varu pahaymai. Antagonism between man and man. Let us know that. Veru varu pahaymai, manatthu indri, vijayindu, kaadaludan sera. Mixed with the affection, new in agreeable society, agreeable system, agreeable uh, areas. But what is happening now? We find a, a great culture, Tamil country is going down and down and down. It's very, very sad. We feel very unfortunately. This has been uh, a fashion in modern time to ridicule, to abuse uh, a particular section of the society, to particular uh, followers of the uh, religion. And uh, it has become a place of hatred between man and man. Chola has ruled, they should live together. Even not only between man and man, even between man. Uh, man and animal, animal and animal. But here, now it is sinking down. We are not in a cultured society. And the, the great songs have no more relevance, it seems. Uh, we are trying to move away from that. And uh, what is happening? Is that uh, enormous amount of money was accomplished for provocation of a particular penny in pain and uh, ridiculing every aspect of Indian, Indian culture. And so, uh, when uh, what we call the money pouring in from outside, when uh, illegal, not legal, there are legal provision in there, uh, illegal. They were quite uh, satisfied, but when that was cut by the government and uh, they demanded that everything that you get must be rooted through the legal way, the legal way, legal way, things have taken a different shape. They abuse. Why? If man is man, you are satisfied with the man and man. Where is the question of hatred? Where is the question of ridiculing another man? Let him have his own faith, you have your own faith. What is that? Who is stopping you from your faith? But vulgar. Uh, I mean, country's atmosphere has changed. Outlook has changed. I think it is because that we have lost our mooring, we have lost our roots. And nobody reads what has been given in those great poems of Saiva saints and all other things. What is amazing is that they have completely removed all heritage it's from their school, children. Yes. Children are not given, are not taught about your own. Where is the heritage? Yes. We had a great heritage in Tamil Nadu. Where is it? It's not reflected in our school children. Millions of children are brought without a knowledge of your own culture. What is it? Yeah, I think this is more, I would say, dumbification of education, especially in Tamil Nadu. I was shocked to see, after the 2019 results, uh, many students, college-going students, uh, having a terribly bad opinion about Modi, because they have been listening to the local channels. And I am thinking, these are the educated people. They can certainly read, watch uh, English and Hindi channels also. Yet, they choose to think that somehow this man Modi is a demon. 
and it's this demonification was just nothing but bad propaganda, fake narrative, and and it has been coming in through the window, the ventilator, the door, you name it. It was very very sad. So I want to specifically take one example. You know, every time there is a bashing, they will go and find some poor Brahmin. They will go and cut his sacred thread, and 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 you know, go slap him. India in Tamil Nadu, we are less than one percent Brahmins now. Now the question that I, what I saw, this is my personal observation. I went to a wedding. This was a Mudaliyar wedding, and in the Mudaliyar wedding, um, just before the Pani Grahan, that is the Kani, um, getting into Grahastha Ashram, the priest made the boy wear a sacred thread. So. And this year, I saw a notification where not our community has said we are going to have an open end. So this thing is changing. But for times immemorial, everybody could wear a sacred thread. So at maybe a few were not allowed to do it for some reason. But ridiculing this and saying that this is wrong, these are all, you know, cheap. What you say, like vulgar display. These are ex examples of these kinds of things. Now, you see, you listen to people, uh, listen to those who come from outside Tamil Nadu, not only from India but also from other parts of the world, yeah. of people who come there, intellectuals, doctors, and from various parts of life. They used to say that there is an order, there is a beauty in Tamil Nadu. The temples, they, they provide systematic worship right. and they are amazed that this is a living culture. So the environment was so great, so beautiful, so amenable, everywhere there is music, everywhere there is dance, everywhere there is no hatred. There is no hatred. Now the whole thing has changed, the outlook has changed and it has become better. Something, it's not a question of one community or another community, it is a totality. And I think um, learned men, uh, administrators, the government should uh, think about it. And it is the great Tamil Nadu, the great Tamil Nadu which has uh, uh, lovely poems, lovely music, lovely literature, love for literature, etc. Very great, absolutely very great. It has gone down and down and down. Why worry about one single person? We are not worried about one person. He is doing his job. Don't worry about it. Can you have, can you think of studying, understanding, singing, and feeling the divine joy of Tevaram and uh, uh, what you call the uh, Divya Prabandhan without a knowledge of Sanskrit. I mean, we have five beautiful jewels as uh, Stella Pratikaram, Mani Mele, Peringale, Chintamani, all these things are uh, full of northern ideas of uh, the Buddhists, the Jains, and all the rest. Now, can you understand Chintamani? Can we understand Mani Meganai? Are you going to throw them out? You don't you don't allow anybody to study it. You don't allow the Sanskrit. You want to throw away Sanskrit. Who will tell about this money maker life? The jewels, five great jewels of Tamil literature. So early. They are not available in other parts of India. So early, such a great regional language, regional writing, regional ethos. So uh, if you want to save heritage, if you want to save the culture, individual culture as you call it, you must know. Go and see the other countries where other languages are all separate, separate institutions are established to study all other languages. Language is after all only a mode of expression, communication. So I don't think we are on the right path. And the uh, government uh, should consider that we should restore Tamil Nadu's greatness, its uh, uh, 
ब्यूटिफुल एनवायरनमेंट लिटरेरी पोइट्री म्यूजिक डांस आर्ट एंड हिस्ट्री विलेज टू विलेज यू गो एंड सी दैट इट वाज देयर एंड लेट अस नॉट मेक इट अ कंट्री ऑफ वल्गर लेट अस मेक इट अ कल्चर ऑफ डिविनिटी thank you very much dr navin sami that was uh, very profound thoughts on uh, what a great country tamil nadu used to be with the land of vedas and culture and wisdom and uh, i think uh, this awareness needs to spread and uh, you are absolutely right government needs to be more proactive in fact we the converse is happening we are also fighting the government on their move move to take over some of the temple lands and giving it away for free and that you know it's not like that it belongs to them but that's a topic for a different day we're going to talk about that later but there are many serious corrections that need to be done and and thank you so much for shining the spotlight on this thank you very much Thank you.